For these guys, the red smock is a kind of tracksuit. This team of physicists, engineers, and businessmen are all-stars in the race to bottle and sell the sun's energy here on Earth. What we're trying to do is build the technology that can make the power, the, the power that drives the sun, uh, make it work here on Earth. No easy task. Often called clean energy's holy grail, controlled nuclear fusion could offer a safe, cheap, pollution-free, and virtually inexhaustible source of energy. Fusion squeezes two lighter atoms together, producing one heavier atom, plus a lot of heat. This can only be done at 150 million degrees Celsius, and that takes a lot of power. The trick is to reach net gain, getting more energy out of a reaction than put into triggering it. This company has a plan. Our big advantage is finding a way to harness existing technologies that we understand to go at this, this challenge of fusion and therefore be able to do it in a shorter time scale and on less money. The mechanism? Inject two rings of superheated plasma into a metal sphere containing a vortex of molten lead and lithium, then hit it with a wave of energy made by about 200 pneumatic pistons, squashing the atoms together. Governments have already spent billions of dollars on fusion projects, and so far they've come up short. General Fusion admits it's got a 20 to 30 percent chance of success, but even that modest figure has won it 30 million dollars in venture capital funding. In the overall scheme of how much money is involved here, it's really not that much money given the potential payoff. If all goes as planned, General Fusion hopes to have a working reactor on the market by the end of the decade, but environmentalists warn we're not there yet. The central challenge is still that fossil fuels and getting them out of the ground and burning them is still so cheap to do, there's not an adequate incentive to invest in renewables or other low carbon technologies. Coal and gas power continue to dominate the energy landscape. For now, anyway, star power is still a distant dream.